<laughs> Hi, we're the, <laughs> we're the Brights coming to you live from our studio kitchen, and it's Labor Day weekend. And so time to get out there and labor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can just say that we almost didn't get on because we thought it was going to be a holiday, and we were like, you know, it's a holiday, nobody's going to care. But we rested today after we got home at like noon, and we rested all day. Like we hardly ever, labor. La we hardly ever rest like more than a little time. Every day is a labor day. So it was just we like we've literally been sitting in a chair, and I just kind of like okay, you know what? I still have makeup on from earlier. I'm fluffing up my hair, putting on my hair and some lipstick, and I'm on. So we did it, and. Yeah, and you did it. I was really surprised you did it this late. So, happy Labor Day weekend. Hope you guys have some big plans. We went to barbecue yesterday, so tomorrow we are. Are you working tomorrow? No. No. Oh, I'm working tomorrow. I got stuff to do tomorrow, but we work from home, so. Okay. Then, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm working. No, you can, you can take off. I didn't know if you had to go on a job or not. So, how's everybody doing? Who's on? Let's see. Lola. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, Tammy. Yay, I haven't seen some of y'all in a while, so glad you guys are on. So we're going to talk about something um, that we need help on in some areas, and some parts of this we're really good at, and some of these tips that we started talking about, we realized that we're not, we've kind of let them fall the wayside sometimes too. So sometimes when we're talking to you, there's stuff that we're really good at doing or that we've conquered, and there's some stuff that sometimes we just need a shot in the arm ourselves to be able to... Um, just to get a good reminder to do it because you can get really comfortable with each other in marriage and get really get uh, focused on working or the kids or doing life or ministry and just going and going and going and not taking those little things and taking your spouse for granted right what are you that's laughing? right what were you laughing did you see something funny? no no okay so so some of the things that we were talking about is uh, that a little effort goes a long way and one of the things is uh, kissing your spouse good morning and good night every night even when we have dragon breath. Yes. Good morning. You know, so. How <laughs> sleep? So, but just a little, it's just that little bit, because sometimes we'll do that at night, like just go to sleep, and we like, we get in bed, we're talking, 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 and we're watching a show, and then we turn fall the light asleep off. before you even get and, in bed. And, and, I mean, we go to bed, we go to bed together at the same time, but sometimes in the, I'm in the bathroom a couple minutes before, but we always try to really. Uh, we make it a point to have the same bedtime every night together because we think that's really important. It's really good for your sex life. It's good for your sleep life. It's just good to be on the same wavelength with each other. But we don't always kiss each other goodnight. And, or sometimes I'll rub his back or, or say something to him, but there are some nights that we don't. And I even told, I've even said to you before, like, don't forget to even have a thing in the bedroom that says, don't forget to kiss me goodnight. Because that's just so important to be able to kiss each other goodnight. But I always forget to kiss each other in the morning. Like, we don't even think about that. So we wake up, we pray, we're talking, we're holding it. It's, we're, it's very, I think it's very sweet, but I don't, I don't think about just kissing you, like, first thing in the morning. So, yeah. so we're going to work on that. And I see friends that whenever we go somewhere, or like, maybe one gets to a restaurant before the other one, they come in and they go and they kiss each other. And we don't do that. Yeah. So I think that's because that. that's their love language. That's their thing. It probably is. But it's something that we shouldn't be taking each other for granted. We should be kissing each other hello and goodbye. Um, right? Yep. The other thing we learned from Dave and Stacy Whited, which we never put into practice, but I was thinking about it today, and it's a really good thing that they do. And every night before they get they go to bed, they do appreciations, where they tell their spouse something that they appreciate their spouse. That's really good. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a great thing. And they even have like a little saying. Remember how they had that saying where it was real spiritual? It was really awesome. I need to find out what it is. I'll it was just really it. funny how... Michelle and Ralph were talking today and they went to the marriage conference this weekend and they were angry at each other and they said, okay, turn to each other and give five things that you like about each other. Five, yeah, five things you like about each other, but they were not and happy. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. That is funny because they didn't want to go. It's nothing like just... getting put on the spot and having to think of five good things because, you know, our spouses do stuff every day that benefits the marriage and hopefully benefits the marriage and benefits each other and we just... We see it and we're just like, oh, that's so sweet. And we do the same thing. And it's not like, hey, today I did, I, you know, I took the dishes out of the dishwasher. I did this. I put this and I did the lot, you know, and you say you don't tell every things that you did. You just do them. Yeah. And then, you know, I just do it and I don't expect any kudos for it, you know. But, but I am good about saying thank yeah, you. you we're going to get to that part about saying please and thank you. They said to kiss right now. All right. Did I get lipstick on? Wow. No, so he said to kiss right now. 
Uh, and so neither one of our well, his love language, he, his number one love language is physical touch, but his dialect is not necessarily kissing. It's more of like rubbing his back and and yeah, like you know, he likes that kind of stuff, like a back rub. He doesn't really thank God he doesn't need like foot rubs. <laughs> um, but what we just we do, we forget to kiss, and so we need to kiss more often. And the saying those appreciations to each other, and I think it just got lipstick on. He says sorry. Um, the other thing is is um, also saying uh, hello and goodbye, like we said, like when if you're in a restaurant or uh, when they come home. Like when our daughter, our youngest daughter, uh, moved away just a few months ago, but we did this thing. Hello and goodbye when you're in a restaurant. So we walk in together and we're like, hello, (laughs) goodbye. But sometimes we go in different cars and you don't go in, you go and hug everyone else, but you don't acknowledge your own spouse sometimes because we just take each other for granted. Like when there's other people? Yeah, or even if it's just us even. Like sometimes I don't think we walk up and we don't do it all the time. Y'all, and this week we were having a, we had a moment. Like, on Tuesday, we had a moment. And so we're always telling y'all how good we are about coming right back and saying we're sorry and getting over it. And it didn't happen this week. So we had a couple of days that we were going through the motions and stuff, but we still had some hurt. And, and it was stupid. It was like something so stupid, but, but you know, we still have to, we still go through stuff too. And so even today at church, we weren't our normal selves. So we're sitting in church, but I'm like, did he just touch me? Like, did you actually just brush against me? And I'm like, you're, you're have, you're going to have to sit next to me. And he's like, I know. But once we went to church, it was better, right? Once we went to class. You start talking. How about those cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even know if we were going to do the video because we were just kind of, uh. but we said, you know, we're doing it. We're getting on here. We got to talk about our stuff, get past it, and we got to show up. So um, saying appreciations, kissing each other. So I was going to say when our daughter was still living at home, she moved away about six months ago, but we started this thing that when she came home, we would clap. Like it's whenever she walked in the front door. Remember? Yeah, yeah. What about sweet? Yay! Yes. We like, Woo! Woo! And she would just look at us all crazy. At first, she hated it. Yeah. But then all of her friends really wanted to come it. over because she was showing them all what happens when I walk in the door. <laughs> and so they all, and then we just, oh, look who's Yay! here! She had Jessica. all of her friends. Yeah, Jessica. so crazy. And they just kind of walk in. It was it was funny. It was, but and, and but but it was it really helped us. Whoa, oh, your turn. That's to shake the table. So it, it really showed us how much that we like because she was coming in the house just going to her room and well like sometimes we don't even speak to each other like we live in the same house but but we need to do that with each other also to make sure that and, it, and it's we get in that bad habit of just kind of coming and going because we're in and out of the house a lot during the day because we work together and so we don't always. But sometimes he's gone for several hours and we're just like, hey, hey, or we don't even say hey. Like he just comes in and starts doing his thing or I'm doing mine. We start talking, but we don't actually go up and acknowledge each other that somebody's at home. And so the person, the, one of the things we read a while back was whoever is at home, what was it? Was it the person at home should get up or the person who comes in? I think the person who's at home should acknowledge the person that's coming in but either way whatever works out for y'all but somebody just acknowledge each other you know my dad we had five daughters in our family and my dad always came home and came to find each one of the girls you know there's a lot of things he didn't do right but one of the things he did he would always come and find each of us in our room give us a kiss ask us how our day was and even if it was just a a peck on the head just for a second but he always acknowledged us and that was just something when i was a kid i just remember and and it really does matter when your spouse when they're happy to see you, especially if you're in a bad place in your marriage. I mean, it really helps to, to not just get in that bad rut, you know? I agree. You know? You can't just agree. You gotta talk I agree. I concur. <laughs> okay. He got on here tonight with me, so he's got to talk to even though it's nine, whatever it I is. think it's better for the person who... Scott, what's up, my brother? So you... So what is it? What do you think the best hey, way? Hey, peeps! Scott hey. Silberry! <laughs> We were just talking about you. Yeah. We sure were. Good it stuff. Good. It was all good, so yeah, we could yeah, still be yeah. friends. Yeah, so what were you going to say? So the person that I think the person in, that comes home needs to go find the person in. So if I come in and you don't hear me, then it's kind of weird, you know. So it would be better for the right. person coming in to go find yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, and so also that kiss in the morning and the evening is then, like a private seal that you guys have with each other. It could be a burglar coming in, <laughs> and you're all you're running in to say hi. <laughs> 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 you know? So... so 
Uh, if I don't come in to find you, then you know immediately that it's a burglar. And there's times that, when, like, when Richard will, like, go run to Home Depot or something for work, like, he'll run out, and then he doesn't say anything. He just drives off, and I don't even know he's gone. But he might only be gone for I 20 minutes. I think that minutes. was only this week. Usually I tell you every single time I leave. No, but sometimes you week. do just go, because he's, sometimes it's not because he's, like, angry. He's just, he's focused on something, or I'm busy doing something, and he just goes and he comes back. But to always just acknowledge each other that, hey, I'm leaving right now, or... Um, you know, just to, I just think it's just common courtesy for us to do it to each other. And so this one thing that we are good at, even though we're not always good at those things, we're going to get better, is that to say I love you. We are really good about saying I love you. Because I came from a family that says I love you. Your family says I, I love you. like you. <laughs> Richard said I love you first in our relationship. It totally so who to- oh, go ahead. What? Caught me off guard. I couldn't believe I said it. Could have been no, a, you were the no. one. That you, oh, yeah, okay, okay, you okay. Slipped. You're exactly you right. Okay, wait, you were like, I love forgot. you. And I was but like, that wasn't the real I love you. So Right, but I, you were the first one to say it. I was the first it. one to say and it. I, and I even had to call you back and say, what did you, you just say? Yeah. So when we were first dating, I totally forgot about that. When we were first I dating, uh, I was going to a Mary Kay conference. And so I had to leave. And I had only known Richard like a month. And so I was going away to this conference. And we are talking on the phone. Yeah, and I'm you only knew me like an hour. You are already in love with me <laughs> so we were in lust with each other y'all that's what it was at first and so I called him and I'm talking to, I just got the phone with my daughter and I was talking to her and I said hey, okay I'll be home and da, 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 I love you and I hung up so I'm talking to Richard and I did the same thing and I said so, da, da, I love you okay I love you oh, Bye. Sure. and then and then he calls me back and said did you just say I love you and I was just like it was an accident no, was I an take accident. it back <laughs> so because I was you know it's that rejection thing I think hmm it was that rejection thing. But the first time that, like, the real I love you happened, Richard said it to me. But it was in a bar. I think I was really drunk. It was in City city Streets. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was a long time ago. Yeah. But you meant it then. Or you meant it like, you meant it like hey, baby, I love you. I like, love I you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but to say You're the kind of girl... And it helped me bury a body. <laughs> <laughs> so Richard wrote me when the when the first dates that we had, the first official date that we had, Richard was trying to kiss me constantly in the parking lot and acting like he couldn't find his car. So I was driving my car to get drive him to his car, but he kept acting like he didn't know which uh, floor it was, was on. Up. Man, we on must have deal. passed my car a hundred times. A hundred times. So they kept, he kept wanting to kiss me. So then we get in the car, finally he gets in his car and he takes off and we're leaving and we're at a traffic light and we're over in like a really busy part of town where all the restaurants and a lot of Friday night, all this stuff's happening. And there were people behind, that was behind you, right? Next to me. I was next to you. And there were these girls that were in this car. They're like a convertible. And they're all screaming because Richard's in his own car by himself. So they're all hollering at him, trying to get him to come party with them on the first night. Yeah. And? And I didn't. I went home and wrote a poem. He went home and he wrote a song for me. I still have it. And one day I will read it to y'all. It it's called song Angel Eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was another drunken we, You sure we didn't lose it in the flood? No, I have it. Oh. I have it. I took a picture of it. So uh, make sure that we say I love you. I mean, like, for some people, they never, they didn't grow up in maybe families that say I love you, but like just just say I love you. I mean, we say, we say it all the time. Probably there's sometimes I'll just tell Richard, I love you. And then he's just like, okay. You're like, I know you love me. Cool, man. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, okay, then. But we are good about that. We do say uh, I love How about you. that? Our kids say it, too. Well, doggy. <laughs> Who used to I say that? I love you. No, that's, you're showing your age. Be quiet. <laughs> so the other one is common courtesies, which you were just talking about, which is saying please and thank you. Would you like that? Please. Is that enough? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you. But you're really good about saying no. please and thank you. And I always... I think we're just saying that. I don't say all always because maybe there's times I forget. But We had I'm, a moment this week. So this it was week was like, a moment. We got off track. But we're really good about thank saying you, Buttercup. thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you for loading... Like Richard unloads the dishwasher for me all the time. And I all, I try to remember like 99.9% of the time I tell him... Thank you for uh, thank you for putting those dishes away. I really appreciate it. And later oh, like when I, I see you, conquered it, it like thanks, a hero. <laughs> thanks for feeding the chica, or thanks for giving her a walk, or even though it's just stuff that we do, I don't ever want to take it for granted, and I never want to forget those little things. I try to always say please and thank you. Why do you say take it for granted and not take it for marble? But why do you always say granite? Like it's granite, like like rock. I work with granite all the time. But it's granted. 
That's what I said. Granite. <laughs> yeah, that's another either, thing. Either you got to. granite. Y'all or watch you got this whole video about the words that we say <laughs> and the words that we. That I have a I have a pet peeve about well, words that are said. Hey, I'm Hispanic, so I get to make up words. Okay. Okay. All right. So expressing appreciation See? for each other is really important. These are the little things we don't want to forget because we can get in marriage and get really taken for granted, just kind of go into your day to day. And those are the it's the the Bible says the small foxes. Those are the small foxes ruin the vine. So we want to keep those small things like opening the car door. And Sherry opens the car door for me every day, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> get out. <laughs> You ought to be a comedian. <laughs> that's really quick. Uh, another one is, uh, but I do appreciate, that's pretty funny. And so we, Richard didn't usually open the door for me. Like, I was like, I can open my own door. I don't need you to open my door. I am but, a woman. Hear me open door. <laughs> but now he does open the door for me a lot. Not always, but he does do it a lot, and I appreciate that. Man, and they've made the parking spaces so small now. It's I hard mean, for it's, me to get, it yeah, can't to even, get in. I can't get in and open the door. There's only room for one person. But another one is is saying, how can I help you today? Like, how? what is it I can do to make your life easier? Because I tell Richard, I, and I guess because my love language is acts of service, so I'm always thinking about how I can make his life either, easier, whether it's making sure that there's food, groceries, or picking up his dry cleaning, or I, I just, I don't know, I'd go get his slippers if he wore slippers. I wish he wore slippers because I love when people wear shoes in the house. Yes. I know. It's so weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> but um, we do try to do those things. How can I help you? Like, he'll he'll do, he just does little things for me. He'll call me if he's at the store and say, Did, do you need anything? Just those little things that we can get Day -day out of whack stuff. with each yeah. other that we need to say, how can I help you? Um, true love seeks the best for your spouse. So we want to be, Aww. we want to serve each other. And what is Jimmy Evans? What's that story he was telling about the serving? You know, you love to tell that story. About people in hell yeah, and people yeah, yeah. in heaven. Tell them. Tell them. That everybody in heaven has got, you don't have hands. That he sees everybody with utensils that are scoops on the end of your hand that are like three feet long. And there's a banquet table laid out for you. And everybody's saying, hey, could you pass the, the, the peas? And, or can you pass the potatoes or the meat or the chicken or whatever? And everybody in heaven is serving one another and everybody's getting fed. And he goes, but the same thing is in hell and there's still a banquet table but everybody is selfish and they're all starving to death because they're trying to feed themselves and they can't feed themselves because those things are too, too long, long. Yeah. yeah and they can't and so they start yeah they're in hell they're, they're burning anyway <laughs> so it doesn't matter <laughs> but uh helping each other are you know like i make richard when i first met richard the, one of the first things i ever did for him was make him a plate of food yeah and that is like what hooked him it was. Yeah, no, I made him a plate of food. It was a barbecue. For, no, it wasn't even a barbecue. It was when y'all were fixing the door. Yeah, it was a few days after the barbecue. And so uh, we had had leftover barbecue. So I covered him a plate and made it. And he was working outside on this door. And I brought him and his best friend a, a plate of food. And that's it was on from then on. But you know what? I still make his plate. Like if we go places, I will still make his plate of food. Not every time, but most of the time I'll say. And he'll be like, I can make my own plate. But he knows I'm going to make him a good plate. I just like to serve it. Even today when we were still kind of having a moment and we were trying to get over this madness from this week. Um, when we got home from church, I easily just wanted to go in the other room. I was like, I don't even, I'm not making him nothing to eat. But I did. I said, would you like something to eat? And so I made him a plate and... You know, it's just and that. then I went into a deep sleep afterwards. <laughs> Real sleepy <laughs> for hours. Uh, but it just says that I matter to you whenever you do that. <laughs> um, I woke and up and eight hours was gone. Um, I'm teasing. One of the things that, that this is a really important one to me, and I don't ever really con convey it in the right way, and I realized today that there's a way I can say this differently, and that is wait. I, I want Richard to wait for me. Like whenever we go someplace, he's very quick, 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 quick. And usually, and I'm very on purpose person too, but usually I'm the one that's trying to remember what to bring and this and taking things. And so he gets on a mission and he'll just go and he can be like way ahead of me. And I don't know what that, if that's a childhood thing or if it feels like abandonment or what it is, but I, is that we need to wait for one another. Like when we're walking through the mall or if we're walking through church, uh, is wait and just maybe take their hand and just wait. How can I help you? Is wait for, I don't know why that's a big thing, but it's very, it's chivalry, you know? It's, it's, what's chivalrous? Is that a word? I mean, it just seems very like you're like rescuing the princess when you wait for me. 
Interesting. <laughs> He's learning stuff. I mean, what do y'all think? Don't y'all like whenever, do you like when your man or your woman walks ahead of you? It's the worst. Now, sometimes, like, I, I have a friend who her husband always walks ahead of her, and I watch her, and she needs to get going. Like, she needs to step it up. And I, I'd be telling, I wouldn't be waiting on her either. But whenever we're just walking, like today at church even, you walked, like, to the car, and you were ahead of me. And then I, and I worry that other people are going to think that we're mad at each other because we're not walking next to each other. Mm. Well, we were mad at each other. Right. And you were talking to that guy forever. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm out. I don't want to. I'm, like, I'm out of here. Um, so I just I like it whenever he doesn't seem impatient with me, and that he just feels like I'm important to him. That matters to me. Um, another thing is that uh, is to smile at each other. When's the last time you really just smiled at each other? Like. <laughs> Is that really just smiled at each other? Like we might we laugh a lot, like we do laugh a lot, but sometimes I don't just smile at him. I don't smile at him when I see him or but we should. We should be making that a conscious effort to to make a smile at each other when we see each other. And then another one is is to let each other speak. And that's so hard. And that's really hard for both of us because we're both talkers and Sometimes I have to talk a lot in these videos because sometimes he talks a lot, like last week, but like this week he's not saying a lot, so I have to fill it in. But what, letting people speak whenever it's... Um, when well, it's really hard. Um, and we have issues with this sometimes. Is when I'm trying to convey a message, she'll start speaking before I'm done. Mm -hmm. So, and vice versa. Because I'm mean, being defensive. You know, and then I'm trying to... I'm, because what's happening is we're not even hearing the meaning of what we're trying to say and then I can't even go back and say that that's not even what I meant because now there's a huge argument so uh, it just yeah let one person speak and be listening not getting written not making your case but just listen and then when they get done just say interesting or thank you and well the reason is because of this and not like oh because you do that not, nothing like that but just be able to to hear each other and not try to talk over one another. Well, because I think we um, we're planning what we want to say next instead of listening to what our spouse is saying. I, I know that, I that's that. a lot of times yeah. for us. Is I'm getting my arsenal ready because I'm about to come back at you. Because if you if I feel like I I've been been attacked or insulted or whatever, I, when I feel that, then I'm gonna and that's just a natural defense. I mean, we're human beings. We're gonna want to come back, but we have to learn in marriage about how to not. Re always react that way and to know that our spouse has good will toward us and they're not always have the worst thing like when I got mad at Richard this week he said something and I just pow, I just freaked out and I thought what did that come from I was so mad at myself for even reacting that way but I know it's a lot of the times it's childhood stuff it's triggers things that trigger and it really didn't even have to do with what he really meant from it but how but what he said Man, it was just like zero to 60 and nothing, and uh, nothing flat, you know? So, um, but sometimes I'm glad those things happen because it gives us a chance to talk about them and then to say, hey, how can we talk about this? How can we react better going forward? Uh, and then not just letting them speak in an argument, but letting them speak. Sometimes we get take each other for granted and we start finish, finishing each other's sentences and we start filling in for them when they say stuff. We do that a lot with stories and stuff because I want him to tell the details. I'm like, but you're leaving out the best part. Um, um, or we'll get up and speak together and then he's very much much different whenever we are like on a stage with a microphone he talks a lot and so there's times I would tell him man I just felt like you overpowered me so we have to be careful of that and to let each other speak so I hope these little things are helping y'all I know it's been a um, it's, it was good for us this week I thought we could get on here and talk about something and be all uh, we don't want to be fake. We wanted to get on here and be like, look, y'all, we had a moment this week. There's some things that we know we need to, to make sure that we're not taking each other for granted. We need to recharge our stuff. Plus, it's a holiday. We want to talk about something that's not super heavy. Um, who else is on here right now? Hey, Abe. All right, so. Yeah, there we get a smile. And we smiled. And we said thank you and please. That's right. And we're going to wait. I appreciate you making yes. the Yes. And I appreciate you getting on this video, even though it was really late. I think we said everything that we were going to we do. We did. We did. So we hope you guys have um, a great rest of the weekend and a holiday tomorrow. We Enjoy hope tomorrow. Off. Hopefully yep. you're off. Hopefully you're not doing a lot of labor on Labor Day. <laughs> and I'm just happy it's Labor Day because my mom said that after Labor Day, you can... 
You're not supposed to wear white. We can wear certain kinds of white now, winter white. But I just can't wait to put on boots and jeans and sweaters. I don't care if it's 110 in Houston. Oh I am gosh, so ready for. So, I am so you're ready so for crazy. it. I am ready. Y'all gonna see me break them out here in about a week. I don't care. Come on, cold front. Yes. Love y'all. I hope it's cooler where y'all are. Pray for you. Thank you for tuning yes, in. Yes, and pray for us because you know what? The enemy attacks our marriage too, especially because we're out here doing marriage videos and we're trying to. We're just going along, rocking, thinking we're rocking this thing, and then all of a sudden it's just like, man, something will hit us blindsided. So we pray for you guys every day. Please pray for us every day, um, or at least when you think about us. Uh, just say a little prayer. And what, what else do we have coming up? So this week we're going to Greenville, South Carolina, to go see our daughter, and then uh, we're going to. Wiley, Texas, right? Yep. Yeah, to see we'll Jason Earls and Bone Hampton. And then what else are we doing? We got a bunch of stuff coming up. So we'll start putting that on our page. We've got some comedy nights here in Houston, and then we've got some stuff in Florida and uh, a couple of different places we're going to be, be gone. So we'll see y'all soon. Sunday. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out. Please share uh, our video. Go videos. kiss your spouse. And go kiss your spouse. And tell, saying thank you, right? Yeah. Bye. Good night. Uh, what the follow up?